Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Ali Shalmo here. Well, I have been missing short range to mid range and long range FPV flights on my FPV RC aircraft. I used to do a lot of FPV flights from short range to mid range and long range when I was in China. Since I moved to Dubai, I have been really, really missing all those FPV flights. Well, it is time for me to get back to FPV flights because we are moving back to China at the end of this year and we are heading to China on 20th July. What is this? Well, let me just introduce you to Fin Wing Traveler T1160 V2 RC FPV aircraft, which actually fits inside a carrying case like this. You can actually order it with this carrying case or you can simply order the kit and carry it in a backpack very very easily. Now the Finwing Traveler V2 RC FPV aircraft which is sitting inside this box has an upgraded T-tail. I have got myself a kit version which I have to build and I believe I have enough glue to build it. I have everything with me to build it basically and I am planning to build it very very quickly right here and hopefully get a flight before I head to China and I can actually carry it back with me in this carrying case and enjoy some flights at my old spot by the riverside there. All right, let's check it out, what's inside the box, and then we will start the build right away. Here is the Finwing Traveler V2 RC FPV aircraft that you can carry in a carrying case or in a backpack. Even after you have assembled everything, this will be disassembled. This airplane will still fit right here in this box or any backpack for you to easily carry and transport it around and fly whenever you want by easily deploying it quickly deploying it in the field so in this box i have received uh well a set of wing of course all right i have received the servos propellers motors Okay, these are 2100 kV motors and inside there is a 15 amp ESC as well, I mean two of the ESC, yes, this is a dual motor airplane then, so it will be using two motors and two ESCs. After that we have the T-tail uh, horizontal stabilizer, we have the vertical stabilizer, and we have the main fuselage. And after that tail boom and of course the canopy or the top cover. Last thing in the box are these accessories, wooden, um, metal and screws and connecting rods and everything. Two days of love put into this kit. What a sweet result right here in my hand. This is Finwing Traveler V2. RC FPV plane, especially designed for your FPV adventures and FPV flights. I believe this will do from short range to mid range FPV flights very well. It is dual rotor powered, I mean two motors powered RC FPV aircraft. And the best thing about this aircraft is that you can take it apart and fit it into this carrying case very, very easily and carry it everywhere you go. So that is why it is called Finwing Traveler. V2 because you can travel with this FPV aircraft. So by far this is the very first RC FPV plane for me which is actually fittable in this box and I can carry it around, I can travel it with me and I can have and I can enjoy flying FPV flights wherever I go by carrying this plane all along with me. Now, I am really dying to bring this out and give it a maiden flight but before that let me give you a quick tour of this Finwing Traveler V2 and you will see why I am actually falling in love with this plane without having to fly it even. Okay, first off we will talk about the feature or power system on this airplane. This airplane at the moment is using four servos, one for elevator, one for rudder and two for ailerons. A standard configuration. It has dual motors, that's what I like it because that means plenty of power and in case one motor goes out you will still be able to fly it on one motor and bring it back safely. 
Also, there is a space given for a servo, so you can mount a servo, a pan servo for your FPV camera, and you can pan it here. So I mounted a servo here so that I can pan my FPV camera. I will be installing the FPV system later, of course. Inside the canopy, I would like to show you a very quick look. Inside the canopy, you can see there is plenty of space right here for you to mount your autopilot and all the stuff. Now, I don't want to go with bigger autopilots. I have my old uh, favorite Bigala little tiny autopilot that has auto return to home and a stabilization feature and that's all I need. So I'll put that in later after I have tested everything and trimmed the plane right without, air, without any stabilization system installed. So I will give it a flight like a standard RC airplane without any stabilization system and trim it and once the plane is trimmed, I'll go ahead and install and a stabilization and or autopilot. Now, you can fit a 11.1 volt 5000 mAh battery right here and of course you can always go with dual 3S batteries uh, that is 3000 mAh and make it 6000 mAh when you connect them in parallel. But you will have to move the battery forth and back. The 5000 mAh battery installed right here, CG just sets perfect on this aircraft. With a 4000 mAh battery, you will, have to sh uh, you will have to install it at the back of the aircraft, towards the back of the aircraft. But anyway, uh, as I said, Mr. Ben has put a special consideration in the design of this airplane, and that's why I want to give you this quick tour. First off, first off uh, let's not talk about the beauty and the uh, looks of this RC aircraft. It's really beautiful, it's impressive looking RC FPV aircraft. Now, the thing that Mr. Ben has upgraded in this aircraft is this right here. It's a T-tail elevator this time, which provides extra stability and better flight performance. Before, I believe it was a V-tail, but this time we have a T-tail here. Now, when it comes to the reinforcement on this wings and, of course, the fuselage, we have a reinforced wings. So, there are carbon rods going into the wings, okay, both sides, all right? And, of course, at the same time, uh, the tail section is reinforced as well, right here. You can see the tail section is also reinforced, so to reduce that, you know, sloppiness on the tail during the flight, sometimes the tail will move left and right, it will reduce that and it will also add a strength to the tail. Should you have a crash and you land on your tail, at least the tail will survive with the strengthening rods inside. We are on the bottom of the aircraft, we can see the ESCs are really easy to mount right here with the Velcro given here. Both of the ESCs were simply super easy to mount here. I had to solder both ESCs in parallel inside, but anyway, it was very, very easy, and it is very easy to replace the ESCs right here outside. Two servos are mounted on the shoulders on this aircraft, okay, not on the wings, so that you don't have to, you know, always disconnect and connect the wire. So you don't have to always connect and disconnect the wires when you remove the wings. Uh, these two servos will move a small part of aileron right here on the shoulder which is then connected with the carbon fiber rod onto the main aileron on the wings which are detachable wings as you can see right here and it will move the aileron really nicely. Everything as I said they fit really perfect and there are no cables to attach right here so that saves a lot of, lot of time. Apart from this, you can see that they have added wooden pieces, they have glued wooden pieces very nicely wherever it comes to put the screws and these uh, connecting rods um, and these arms that go to connecting rods on the servos. So everything is nice and tough right here, no loose areas, no loose screws. On the top of the wing, you can see there are two locks to lock the wing and of course on the bottom right here, there's one more lock to lock your tail in. And during flight, you don't have to worry that your wing will fall out. And then for the ailerons, you can see uh, they have provided us with wooden pieces that were glued and metal hinges right here, which is an extra strength to this aileron. And it puts enough power to hold ailerons on these detachable wings to turn them up and down for you to control your aircraft. How do you disassemble and put it inside the box? Well, let's find out right away. First off, the motors are also very, very easily removable, okay? So you have two screws here, okay, and two screws here. You can remove the motors very, very easily, but I wouldn't like to do that. I would like to see if I can pack this aircraft with the motors installed. So first off, we will take apart the tail or the uh, elevator, horizontal stabilizer. After that, just open the lock on the shoulder, okay? And 
gently pull the wing out. See, that's what I was talking about. No connections to detach, no connections to attach. I mean, no cable here, which makes life really easy and makes assembly and disassembly really, really quick. Once both wings are off, of course, inside you have to detach the rudder and uh, uh, elevator cable, okay? Which I have mounted an uh, extra, you know, extension, uh, servo extension, so this makes it very, very easy for me to detach these cables, alright? And after that, so there is one more lock here for the tail that I have just shown you, so just open it up. Alright? And now you can pull the tail out. Carefully pull the cables out from this tube. Alright? Now let's pack the aircraft after you have seen how easy it was to disassemble. Man, what a nice carrying case you have here. This is the carrying case, you have seen it. There's a pocket here for you to put your accessories and of course propellers as well. Now, in order to pack it, first you will pack your main fuselage and you will have to remove the propellers, which is very easy because these cones are actually self-tightening cones. You don't have to add any kind of, um, you know, lock tight on it. So they are very, very easy to open and take your um, propellers off. Okay, after that, after that, I will put it upside down here. And, uh, and I will put the elevator right under it, okay, after that, my top shell, I mean the canopy or shell that goes with the uh, FPV camera, then is the tail section. Finally, you can put your man wings, okay, adjust them properly so they don't bend when you close your lid. Oops, I forgot the propellers maybe. Yeah, hold on. These are the two propellers. I actually got four. So they go in this pocket. Close the lid. And don't forget to lock it. This is your precious. After that, you are ready to travel with your fin wing traveler V2, your precious FPV RC aircraft. I wish there was space to fit the radio in, but my Futaba 14 SG is really big. But I do have a separate carrying case for Futaba 14 SG, and that makes a complete traveling package for me. I can easily travel with this Finwing Traveler V2 FPV aircraft. And I'm not just talking about it. We are heading to China on 20th July, and I want to travel with the Finwing Traveler V2. Thank you for watching the video and thank you very much for your continued support towards my work on YouTube. Please subscribe to my channel and stay updated for all the regular video uploads. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share the link over your social sites.